So I get asked a lot of questions about the manifestation process, the, the creation process, and how to actually deliberately create and intend your life. And the reason that I am so passionate about teaching this is because I remember being in that place where I was very confused about how to to, to draw things into my life. So I really thought that I had to work really, really, really hard and I had to always be busy doing something, right? Like I had to be writing, I had to be reading, I had to be praying. God wanted me to be busy, I had to be busy. And I would get caught up in the busyness of doing stuff but wasn't doing anything. So you hear people say, you know, you gotta hustle hard, the hustle is real. I agree with that, but I also agree that before you start hustling hard to get what you want, you need to know what it is you want. You need to ask for divine guidance and you need to listen. When you begin to include God in your plan, when you begin to realize that you have this group of angels that were given to you at birth, first of all, you know, your guardian angel was given to you at birth, but then you have acquired angels along your path and you can actually ask your angels for help, then the hustle's not as hard. Yeah, the hustle's real, but the hustle's not as hard. Sometimes you have to get still and you have to listen for instruction and you have to listen for guidance. If you're so caught up in the busyness of trying to manifest and create, you're going to miss it. You're going to miss things that will bring you clarity about what you need to do next. I am very passionate about people living the lives that they want to live, especially us as women. I am extremely passionate about us living those idea wonderful lives that we want to live and to do it unafraid because a lot of times we're waiting on, you know, some man to bring us this. We're waiting on that man to come and show us how to do that. We're waiting on that man to come and bring it to us. A lot of us have that Prince Charming syndrome that, yeah, I'm going to wait on this guy and he's going to marry me and give me the white picket fence and blah, blah, blah. But what if that guy never comes? Are you prepared spiritually, mentally, and emotionally to take care of yourself? And the way you do that is by getting your mindset in line with the mind of God and know that everything you desire is yours because you are created to be abundant. Not one person on this planet is created to struggle and do without. There is so much abundance in the universe. And when you focus on what it is that you want instead of what it is you don't want, you'll begin to start the, the wheels turning. The wheels start to turn. The universe starts to move. When you are clear about what you want and you go forth in faith and you know that beyond the shadow of a doubt, it is yours to have because God said you can have it, right? God says you can have the desires of your heart, right? There is so much, and it's not just for one person. There's not a favorite group of people, right? So there's not a favorite group of people that can have all this wealth. There are people who have gotten the keys to the kingdom by knowing that manifestation and co-creation takes place when you align your mind with the infinite wisdom of God. And that wisdom tells you that there is enough for everyone. I teach an abundant mentality because people have this hoarder mentality. I got to keep my knowledge. I can't share because they're going to outdo me or, oh my gosh, I can't tell this person because she's going to do it better than I can. Or, oh my goodness, 
Uh oh, wait a minute. I don't want to tell her because she's already making all that money. It don't matter who's making what. It doesn't matter who's driving what. It doesn't matter who's doing what. What is yours to do is yours to do. And nobody on this planet can do it better than you. We have got to open our mind to the infinite possibilities of this universe. We have got to know that we know that we have angels and saints and heavenly beings that are ready to assist us. When my angels give me direction, Fran moves because I know, I know that their mind and their sight is so much greater than mine. We can't even begin to understand what God has in store for us. We cannot even begin to understand what God has in store for us. When you begin to speak what you seek, when you begin to understand that you have a job to do and that is to know what you want and ask for what you want with expectancy and you go about your business doing what you're supposed to do and paying attention to what you're receiving, the messages that God and your angels are sending you and bringing to you, your life begins to unfold in marvelous ways. And that is why I teach manifestation and creation because it's a spiritual thing. It's a spiritual thing. And you cannot contain spirit. All right, guys. So remember, focus on what you want. Don't be thinking about what you don't want because what you focus on, you create in your life. So focus on what you want. Ask for what you want. Be specific, but leave room for the universe to bring you this or something better. All right, guys. Have a great and fabulous week. I'll talk to you next week. Bye for now.